Hey everybody, Chris here for PokerSavvyPlus.com, bringing you episode one of a new MicroStakes 6 Max series I'm going to be doing for PokerSavvyPlus called Building the Basics Version 2. This series is going to be a follow-up series to a series I began approximately, oh wow, uh, a year, year and a half ago, in which we looked at kind of introductory strategy for online 6 Max games. Uh, the games have changed a lot in the time since I first made those videos. My instructional, hopefully, talents have uh, changed a bit since we made those first videos. So what we're really going to look to do in this series is uh, teach some of you newer players who are getting into poker how to play a tight, standard, fundamental strategy and hopefully uh, win you guys a lot of money and break you guys out of the micro stakes. I think there's a lot of people that are still getting into poker, um, and there's a lot of people who are maybe struggling at the lower stakes and really are looking to uh, looking to break out. And uh, hopefully, my goal by the end of this series is to uh, get you there, get you really on the road to winning, the path to winning, and uh, make sure that uh, things are going well. So I'm going to begin this series just like I began the last series, which is with just a four-table live session at 25 no limit, and kind of run through in the dead time that I have, some of the kind of strategy concepts that we're going to discuss in this series and just kind of break things down for you so you'll know if getting into this series is going to be the right thing for you. Uh, my first recommendation is going to be if, if you're already a solid winning player at NL25 or NL50 and you're looking for something to take you to the next level, the concepts discussed here might be a little introductory or a little remedial for you. Um, and I would highly recommend, if you haven't yet watched, checking out AMA 0330's The Half Dollar series. I think that will probably uh, ring true more so for you. But if, even if you are uh, a 25 NL regular, hopefully what we're going to do in this series is look at areas where I think a lot of low stakes regulars make a lot of mistakes and uh, improve your win rate in ways that you may not think you're making mistakes. I think part of, besides playing a tight, excuse me, a tight, you know, fundamental strategy, one of the areas people struggle with is uh, really working on hand reading, board reading, and making decisions with regard to who their opponent is, what position they're in, and whatnot. I'm going to do my best in this series to kind of open some of those doors for you guys and try and make things clear as possible. Um, I've got four tables going here on Full Tilt, uh, and I'm running Hold'em Manager, which is the heads-up display you see on screen. Um, pretty straightforward. I think most of you at this point in uh, poker are pretty familiar with that. If not, please, there will be a video thread in our forums. You can ask any questions you may have, and I'll be happy to answer about it. My HUD, for those of you playing at home, goes uh, VPIP, preflop raise, steal percent, aggression factor, number of hands. Below their name, we've got their continuation continuation bet percent, fold to C bet percent, and uh, three bet and fold to three bet percent. Honestly, for the small snakes and micro snakes, I'm not going to pay too much attention to anything besides uh, VPIP and preflop raise, um, and I guess aggression factor, just because I don't think that all of the other statistics are particularly important for low stakes games, and I'm going to do uh, more or less ignore them. 